Hello and welcome to another Stampin' Sunday blog hop. This week we are looking at Daisy Lane. Uh, thank you for joining me. If you're um, new to this hop then do have a look at my blog post which is listed below and check out all the other uh, wonderful talents of the uh, ladies taking part in this blog hop. So I'm going to be making a card with you today and doing a little bit of a decorative pencil but we'll come on to that in a minute. To make it a little bit quicker um, for this video I've gone ahead and prepared some of the items already. So the Daisy Lane stamp set comes with a new uh, punch, uh, it's a, available as a bundle and it also has an image that matches the Daisy punch that was available last year. So I've gone ahead and stamped and punched out some daisies and I've already assembled them. So I used gorgeous grape ink on Whisper White cardstock for these ones and then gorgeous grape ink on I think it was balmy blue, yes it was balmy blue for this one. And then this one I used uh, Gorgeous Grape on Gorgeous Grape cardstock for these ones. So I have pre went ahead and punched those out and then stuck them together. I've also cut a card base here and it measures four and a, uh, four and a half inches. Is that correct? No, it's not. Five and a half inches by five and a half inches. And a, base, uh, a matting layer ready to go. So before I start sticking my flowers on, I want to do some stamping in the background. And one of the images in this set is this beautiful fern leaf image here. And I want to just get some of this into the background of it. So I'm just using soft sea foam ink here. And I'm just going to... very simply a quick background. Now I want to add some more texture into this so I'm going to use some pear pizzazz now and uh, ink up a little bit more of the ferns and just get that darker shade in there as well. There we go. I already went ahead and cut out some leaves from the frosted bouquet dies and I have these really beautiful leaf elements here and I want to have these in the background a little bit as well. So I'm going to just stick these down and I've already got my hot glue plugged in ready to go because I find when doing kind of work with 3D flowers it's a bit easier to stick down but it's certainly more quicker um, and for the sake of this video I'm going to use that. So I'm going to just pop these little ones out the way just for a moment and bring in some of these leaves as well. And to create some extra texture in the leaves you can use your fingernails just to put some extra creases in here or you can use some tweezers, whatever you prefer. So I've laid my daisies on just to get an idea of how I want to stick it down and then I'm going to start gluing it all together. Right, I'm happy with the layout of the daisies and I just want to poke these little tiny leaf elements back in here now.
So when you finish gluing everything down and putting the uh, fats in, you can just put a good amount of glue on the back to stick it to your card base because this is a slightly heavier card than normal with all the different flowers on it and the glue. And there you have your pretty daisy card. Now in addition to this I'm going to do another little project decorating a pencil. So I have a pencil here that I have ready and again I've pre stuck down all the daisies ready and I punched out two uh, circles. I call this a sunburst punch. I don't know if that's the correct word for it but um, yeah I've punched out two out of um, pear pizzazz and I'm just giving that a little bit of a curl over because these are going to be stuck in between. Sorry the pencil is going to be stuck in between the two circles. I'm just sticking that there down like that. And then I'm going to put some glue here and on the pencil and lay that one and I'll try and match up the shapes. There we go. And then just hold that down for a moment until the glue cools down and is really stuck well. Then I'm going to stick my daisies on there, but before I do that I want to have a little piece of lace hanging down for my pencil because I'm probably going to give this to a little girl and you know how little girls love things that move and feathers and things like that. So I thought it would be nice to have some of these kind of lacy bits and threads hanging down to attach these pieces. Put that one there, then that one there. And then I think I'm just going to drop on, put some more glue, but I'm just going to drop on these silver threads, like so. Have them kind of randomly poking out from the flower. Then I'm going to stick the flower onto the middle there. Okay, so there you have the finished pencil topper in all its frilly glory, ready for a little girl to write little notes. And here's a card that goes or could be given with it if, you, if you'd like to or just give this card to somebody who loves daisies so thank you so much for joining me do have a check back uh, at the other blogs and uh, if you like what you see if it's the first time you've come across my youtube channel then please don't forget to subscribe because that way you don't get to miss out on any further videos that i really release so take care for now and see you again soon bye